Russell says, I have no idea. I can't remember important stuff, but I remember that. It's typical. Look over there. A poor, flippery, floundering fish. I grabbed him. Jot cleared his mind. Oh. Now he was ready to grab the fish. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you faked me out, you f almost cursed. That was hilarious. Love that. Fish grabbed. <laughs> the plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. And there, it regained its composure. Oh. So you, thank you so much, noble traveler. My name is Flotatio, and I'm a fish. Green lightning zapped me right out of these waters. Consumed by fear, I flipped and flopped. Till, by your hand, my fugue was stopped. I'm eternally in your debt. But now you must forgive me. I must go. For my beloved swims this reedy fen. And I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviors. All right, Flotatio. What an extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. All right. We helped a fish. Make that fish voice the next resub sound? What would I say? Thank you so much for the resub. Blub, blub, blub. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade. And the light began to dwindle. The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out those singing frogs. Sweet harmonies. Ninety-three. You smell different when you're awake. Glub glub. Glub. Glub glub. That salmon run is hilarious, isn't it? Thanks, Evil. Thanks for the tier two. Nine to three months. Glub glub. All right. Well, did you guys notice? Oh, I can't get back up there. Scuzzlebutt. Did you notice on the page before when it said uh, it got really dark that there it, the word light was glowing up there? So we could turn the page and get the word light, I think. Wait, can I smack these singing frogs? You can, but it does nothing. You had to refresh, stream was super delayed, but hey. Hey, what's up? This bridge was broken. Okay, so what words have we got? We got broken and night. Let's pop out. So how do... How do I get this word? Can I just grab these off the page? Daytime. How do I get that? You beat Final Fantasy Rebirth the other day? I think it beat me though. <laughs> I 
I've beaten, I've completed some games where I felt that way at the end. Yeah, I, I, I haven't even started that. I've owned it since February. I haven't even started that. I have so many games. Now they don't get played. How would I get back here to get this daytime? Oh. I don't know why I didn't see that, but I didn't. Give me daytime. This doesn't look right, but it's right. Oh, yeah. All right, so the frogs don't want to, they want to sleep. Okay, perfect. Solid is back there. Oh. I need something to put there. please. Thank you. make it night again I think I do but before we do that what's anything else over here Slime Dungeon. Some early concepting of game environments appealing to 80s, 90s kids who grew up with slime toys and TV shows. Yes. Alright, we need solid, but we, I think we need it to be nighttime. It was now solid in the swamps? Can we do that? Ay, stop throwing it so much. Oh, now we're gonna switch it back to day. Nice, it swaps. Oh, wait. How's that gonna work? I'm gonna have to throw it. Can I throw it from up top here? Throw? 
Oh, come on. There's probably a really easy way to do this and I'm just being stupid. I guess I can do it this way, right? I don't even know. I don't think I need night anymore, do I? doesn't work either though what the um why is it so hard you see a scroll next to the bridge rainbow jedi all right Scroll next to the bridge. In these things here, in the water, they look like scrolls, but I don't think they're collectible. All right, so we need to be able to get this frog out of the way. I wish I could just kill these guys. I will kill you. All right, just go down. You know what is so funny? I wish I just did it besides talking to him. I literally was thinking of that. I was like, this block might be able to stop them. All right, but I gotta get this block back over there. So we gotta make a day. Where did I put the daylight word? right here okay go what we want he doesn't retreat yeah and I don't need to stop this guy oh my god 
We finally did it. That was hard. Interesting. So I wish there's nothing else going on out here now, right? I wish there was more to do out here. Need to get the block. There's a button here. Where'd my block go, though? Oh, it's right there. Am I going to need this block again? No. Ned, adventurers, maybe you can help us. Her house is full of flying birds. Please kick out those injectory things. I am Cartman. <laughs> you bet we will, Snail Dude. Square, you should. It looks mighty sharp, but if you want to roll up those buzzing pests, a long range weapon will serve the best. Uh, there may be something around here. A long range weapon, huh? Take a gander. Huh, there's something lodged under the water. Maybe I could dislodge it with a little bit of magic? I never could quite get this kind of thing to work, but well, I suppose it's the first time for everything. Guys, um, maybe it's best if you stood back. Here goes nothing. Swish and flick. Holy guacamole, it actually worked. It's a big log, not really a long range weapon, unless you threw it. Can I talk to these guys? We were having a lovely cup of slime tea when those bugs came barging in. Very rude. You'll be needing something with a bit more reach than that sword, lad. A portal. 
You know, I get the feeling there won't be a weapon just lying around in the swamp. I mean, have you ever seen a snail rocking a crossbow? I haven't, but maybe you could find something out there in the other realm? Yes. We need long range weapon. Oh, this is cool. This is what I want. Yes. Oh man, lots of goblins got out. There's a magic card. Did you see that? It's legit like a magic card. Word up, it's me, Mini Beard. Or to give you my full name, my talking Mini Beard. I'm a toy based on the character Mini Beard from the book, The Plucky Squire. It's all a bit meta, but my advice is very practical. If you're looking for a long range weapon, there's an elven warrior around here. Who owns one? She lives in a card game. Head upwards to find her. Oh, do I have to play the card game to actually get the weapon, please? Make Sparkwood sad. She might try and shoot you with arrows, but don't take it personally. Reminds you of playing your army men game. It's a little like Toy Story. I was hoping they were doing good. We're going to do more with the outer world like this. See, I snuck a card game in, Sparkwood. Make Sparkwood man. He's the only one who laughs at my memes. I laugh at them. Some of them. Go the way they told us to go a long time ago. It's Bookworm. Jot, we meet once more. But alas, it seems that danger is on the horizon. Sonnet Swamp's least desirables have extracted themselves from the book. But it does at least appear that you are suitably equipped this time. Eradicate these invertebrates forthwith. I do that slam attack there we go Ooh, a purple heart do I need to talk to the mini whiz
Be a little jumper. Okay, I'm terrible at this. Get to that magic card. This is so much fun. Get me in there. I want to travel all the things. I mean, how cool? Like, how cool is the perspective? I wonder, like, how difficult it was to pull this all off. You know, going from the 2D world to the 3D. I want this sword. locked right that's i have to kill all the monsters for that i don't even want to talk to the mini wizard because he just spoils everything spoilers i think like even all my upgrades <laughs> like i can use here If a game like this existed when I was a kid, I would have lost my mind. You know? Because, like, some of what we're doing is reminding me of, like, Adventure or the original Legend of Zelda. And this is just presented in such a visually appealing and creative way. Oh, interesting. with this. God, I almost did it again. Oh. 
Oh god, it's like four guys. There we go. Alawinia the Elven Ranger. The mighty ranger awaits her next foe. What's this? Oh, I love it. She talks through writing on the card. Another intruder, I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. So good. Show me what you've got, rascal. Oh, okay, it's turn-based combat. Let's talk. Jot tried talking to Eloinia. Now is not the time for words, but for battle. You will not soon forget the song of my arrows. Fight. I'll do a stab. You shall not have this bow. You shall have its fury. Guard. I was guarding though. All right, I'm gonna slash. What did more damage, slash or stab? Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm losing. Oh my God, heavy damage. Why do I stink at this? There we go. Please help me. Shot in his eye. Page, the bookworm. You seem to be in a desperate predicament. Let me revivify you. Yes. I may have also spruced up your offensive capabilities. Alas, Jot, that was a one-time spell. I can revitalize you no more. The outcome of this skirmish is now entirely up to you. I like how that my sword is a pen tip. I just noticed that. Hello? I'm just gonna keep attacking. She cast a spell of protection. Her defense power rose. I will destroy this elven bow before I give it to you. The elves will never let you use their weapons for evil purposes. You can tell that to your boss. What was his name now? Ah, yes, Humgrump. Oh, I am not... I'm not working for Humgrump. Jot, did you hear that? It seems that she has erroneously identified you as an agent of Humgrump's. You must talk to her, Jot. Inform her of the truth. I think I can reproduce the spell that she cast to buy us some time. Spell of protection. All right, we got to talk her out of it. Persuasion check. Humgrump isn't my boss. You expect me to believe that? No. Really? Humgrump isn't my boss? Is my enemy? What? Your enemy? But well, what do you mean? I'm on a quest to defeat him. You mean you are not his underling? Precisely. Most assuredly not. Jot is a champion of this land, striving to defeat the dastardly Humgrump and put a stop to his mischief. Is that so? Now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have a somewhat heroic countenance. Alowinia, we wholeheartedly apologize for the disturbance we have precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean up Humgrump's chaos. Your elven bow seems like it could be advantageous in that regard, but we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your forests. I have decided I shall lend the elven bow to you. Any enemy of Humgrump is a friend of mine. I can see the aura of good about you now, Jot. I wanted there to be a card game though. Damn. When the bow has finished assisting you, it will return itself to these forests. Good luck on your quest, John. Our battle was most bracing. Got the bow. We made a good tag team, don't you think, John? So it seems that Humgrum's forces have made their way outside of your book. This does not bode well. Here, jump into the sticky note be able to get down to the desk and back to your book. 
But I want to go into the world of the car. I want to go into the open forest. I want to pick up the spear. Transport via sticky note. You haven't taught me how to shoot the bow yet. Welcome back. Did you get what you're looking for? Yes, I did. There we go, lad. Go wallop him. Bugs. Bugs. Jot ready the elven bow. I like how buff Jot is in these cutscenes. To the test. Fire arrow. Drew his bow back as far as he could. And shot that creature right in the eye. I like this part. This is good. Uh-oh. Purple ones, you have to shoot at max strength. Oh, it's life. Damn it. I can't believe I'm going to lose. Oh, got some life there. We're down to our last one. Dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. Let's try that again. That's fun though. I like that. You want to do this? You want to play? Rune would do it. There's 27 bugs left. 26. Jot drew his bow back as far as he could. What? And shot that creature right in the eye. left. Ooh. 
doing a little bit better this time. Nice. Yeah. Hey, he actually spoke. Yeah. The lucky squire had squashed the bugs. Yeah, Rune. That was perfectly timed to cooing. Thank you from the bottom of our mollusk hearts. That's not the last of those bugs, though. We've had word there are more ahead. They say their leader is a big, horrible bug with flashing eyes. Have your wits about you, adventurers, and good luck. You would never have made it through that section. I guarantee you, you would have made it through that section. You've beaten Elden Ring. Come on now. Nibbles, nibbles. You're a treasure, lad. Such pluckiness I have never seen. Thank you. What a story this will be. Our house saved by the plucky squire. You said I'm packing. I want some tea. We've reached Snellford upon Avon. A nice peaceful town. At least it was. It's not peaceful anymore. Uh oh. Octave. Is that is that the famed plucky squire? Most unexpected for us to find you in these lands. We've read all your books and thrilled at your adventures. We don't get to adventure much ourselves, being snails, that is. I once fell in a hole. <laughs> but I suppose it's nothing compared to your escapades. You write about them so evocatively. I'm a big fan of your work. Perhaps, oh, perhaps you could help us? Those horrible bugs have trashed our town and stolen works of great renown. Namely, the two volume collected works of Shellspear. Shellspear. Plucky Squire, please defeat the bugs and get those two books back to us. Snail friends, we're on the case. Leave it to us. Spin attack now. Sword damage upgrades. Still can't get the spin attack badge. I guess we'll hold off. We'll wait. Alright. Woo! Alright, gang, I think I'm gonna wrap things up there. This is great. Hold on, save progress. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is Plucky Squire. Now out on like everywhere. PC, consoles, type hashtag game if you want my humble link to get it on PC. Thanks so much to Devolver Digital for sending me a copy of the game so I can stream it for you guys. It's great. I highly recommend, especially, I mean, it's it's cute and relaxing and adorable and very creative and uh, yeah, friendly to play with. But if you have, um, if you have small kids, you're always looking for games to play with them. Perfect one. The accessibility settings. A lot of things like that, that's great.